All right, hello. My name is Adrian Nanchev, and I help you help other entrepreneurs become remarkable. And I'm asking myself, how can I come up with more book ideas and other blog ideas? How can we come up with more ideas? There are three ways around it that I can think of at least. It, firstly, is one, to take what you know and to break it down by asking different questions like why is it important, why is it relevant, why is it funny, why is it unique? Take our knowledge and ask ourselves why is it important three times to each answer. Coming, coming up with as many topics and ideas and breaking things down as much as possible so as to find the emotional angle to our knowledge. Because we buy with emotion and we're justified with logic. So if you can create an emo if you can figure out an emotional angle to something that you know about to, to your knowledge, then you can find almost potentially infinite ways of breaking down your knowledge so it piques curiosity, so it's different things to talk about, different subjects to cover that your target audience will be interested in. Another way is to look at the uh, like Google places like Google Trends. And ask yourself what key questions, what evergreen topics and subjects and questions can I answer that answer that people are looking for? For example, this video is all about how to generate book ideas and blog ideas. So take your knowledge and ask yourself what common questions are my target audience searching for and asking themselves throughout the year. For example, if you're a driving instructor, you could create content or a blog about, or certainly a blog about how to drive a car. How to drive a car, and that in and of itself has got how to handle the clutch, how to refill the car, how to, you know, general maintenance of the car. Different subjects that are evergreen within that single topic of how to, you know, how to drive a car or how to manage a car. And you take that to that one step further, looking at the big picture and saying at each one of those, why is it important? Why is you know, what you know? Why is how to handle the clutch important? Why is how to fill the how to fill the car important? Why is why are each of those important? Why are each of those relevant? Asking ourselves why 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 is it important? Finding the emotional not not, not always the emotional side but certainly an emotional slanted side to almost every topic. I can't see much emotion in why why using a clutch is important, but you get the idea. You're breaking down your knowledge. And the other third way, the final way that I can think of when it comes to break, coming up with ideas is look at places like Amazon and look at how they've broken down and categorised the books, um, non-fiction and fiction. And look, because they've spent more than likely millions on analysing and understanding common topics for books, whether fiction or non-fiction, for children or for adults, for business or for writing other books. For example, I was talking to someone recently and she's writing her first children's book and she wanted some ideas. And I told her, if you go to Amazon, look at Kindle books or physical hardback books and look at all the categories, there's loads of topics for children. There's things like coming of age, bullying, dealing with parents, growing up, things like that. Each of those topics right there that Amazon have identified that are popular or profitable, you can create a topic or a book series based on those topics. Right there, ideas are just staring at you. Imagine a Venn diagram. How can you talk about your knowledge mixed in with these topics that Amazon are providing you? And then go one step further and say, what evergreen topic that our target audience are always searching for that relates to this topic that Amazon has identified? One great big Venn diagram of these different different criteria. And the more of those you identify, and the re and the more that you that you realise you can talk about efficiently and proficiently and competently, the better. There are more or less infinite ways of using of breaking down your knowledge, and breaking it in so many ways to create ideas. How crazy is that? So, if this is the first time, subscribe, subscribe because I help you become an, a remarkable entrepreneur, because. Life is better when we're remarkable. So if you haven't already, subscribe. You'll see me soon.